Guys, welcome back to another Screen Team. We've got some really good movies for you. We're going to be uh, reviewing the movie Goodwill Hunting. Also, Sue is going to be joining us for Last of the Mohicans. But Sue is here, and she's ready to do the film My Cousin Vinny. And My Cousin Vinny is a movie that came out in 1992, starring Joe Pesci and Marissa Torme. Also, uh, it's got the, the kid from uh, Karate Kid, Ralph Macchio, is in it as well. Sue, I was surprised to learn that this is one of your favorite movies. It is. It's in my top 10. Why? Why I, is this movie? Why? <laughs> I like, well, okay, first of all, I'm going to just tell you right off. It shows relationships again, and I mm -hmm. think I've talked about relationships in the past. Sure. Whenever we have a woman who sits there and goes, how can I help you? How can I help you? And he constantly brushes her off. Not because he thinks she's stupid, because I really think he respects her mm -hmm. knowledge and her ability. And he really shows that toward the end, how much he respects it. He just doesn't think he can, she can help him in this situation. Yeah. And, but all the way through, even though there's this bickering going on and all that, you know, she's very supportive of him. And then that there's a love relationship going on. Sure. And I am very proud out of the way that they portrayed both the man and the woman in that relationship. Now, admittedly, you have to be able to speak New York City ease <laughs> <laughs> to get some of this. Sure. Because sometimes I happen to be married to a guy from upstate New York, not the city. But I also understand that those folks from there have a little different ways of expressing relationships. Mm -hmm. And you get used to that. And so you get this film a lot, I think. So what uh, what is Joe Pesci doing in this? Joe Pesci is a lawyer. I yeah. mean, I mean, can you imagine this pitch to one of these studio executives? Okay, I got something for you. Uh, you got a lawyer. He's from he's from New York. He's played by Joe Pesci. Well, Joe Pesci as the lawyer is the perfect because Joe Pesci doesn't become anything more than what he is. Yeah. He t says he comes from a working class background in New York City. Sure. And he's also sitting there, or I think it was Brooklyn, actually, if we Brooklyn. wanted to be yep. uh, more specific. And Brooklyn is different than New York City. But Joe Pesci says, it took me this many times to pass the bar. And the reason <laughs> I'm here is because somebody believed in me. Yeah. And I, and that's another reason I love the film. I used to work, uh, I worked for over 30 years in higher education and that was all it took sometimes with those students is have somebody believe in you sure he had a judge believe in him and he was a great arguer <laughs> <laughs> and you know you have to be able to sp to be quick on your feet mm -hmm. be able to to look at different sides of an argument and pick the one you think's the one that's the most winning for you and i think he does this in yeah. the show yeah he's 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 caught up in a difficult situation like you said he has only been practicing law for five or six weeks and he comes to find out that a cousin of his is on trial for for murder and by no fault of his own, it's just, it's, it is definitely one of those things of mistaken identity. And that's all I really think. I don't want to yeah, give it away sure. if you haven't seen the film. But if you haven't seen the film in a while, watch it again and just watch the dynamics among the people. Even Fred Gwynn, who mm -hmm. is Herman Munster and plays the judge, yeah. has, he, Pesci earns his respect in this film. Yeah. That's, I mean, he's such a big dude. And I don't mean, I don't mean like big. He's just got like his frame and nature everything about him is big his voice his jawline i mean he is he's an intimidating figure well keep in mind fred gwynn is six foot five and joe pesci is five four <laughs> 13 <laughs> inches difference there. that's right that's right this movie also uh won the academy award for miss marissa torme who is just uh, she's a lightning bolt in this film. Well, I, I think she's adorable. But when I say adorable, I don't mean in a weak manner. Mm -hmm. I mean she is just as strong as she can be and smart as she can be. She's yeah. every, She may even be smarter than the Joe Pesci yeah. role. But she really comes through and she shines. And, and I just absolutely adore her and the one thing that she does she knows auto mechanics and as a result of her knowledge of auto mechanics she wins the day yeah and i just and whenever she gets up there and she starts spouting it out and there's no way that i could do it the way she does it but she goes <laughs> there's no way this is true and then she goes sure. on and, yeah. and and she just blows away the expert scientist from the FBI. She does. She does. She does a great job and uh, definitely uh, warranted to win that Academy Award for sure. Uh, you got some trivia points well, here? Well, I, I, if any of you have ever seen Jersey Boys and, or the play or the mm -hmm. film, you find out that... Uh, Valley knew Joe Pesci back then, and there's the one, and he's the one who introduced Valley to uh, 
Bob Guadio, who's the writer of most of the <laughs> hit songs of of Jersey Boys or yeah. of of that of the. Uh, Valley and the okay. My husband would tell me what the right. Your husband's probably watching this, listening right now. Like you're getting it wrong. Yeah, I know he is, and he'll be so <laughs> mad at me because he. <laughs> but anyway, if it's Frankie Valley and in the Four Seasons, mm-hmm. I finally got it out. And Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons, and Bob Guadio is the one who wrote most of the songs. And he, Bob Guadio, met Frankie Valley as a result of Joe Pesci, who happened to be the guy who, in the 1950s, was setting up the pins in the bowling alley when before mechanics came yeah. along. Joe Pesci, man. He's uh, not just a great actor, he's getting great bands together. It's a yeah, great, great yeah, thing. It was great. Um, I have a question for you, Sue. You are uh, an intelligent woman. You've Thank read you. You've read many, many books. Um, what is a ute? It's youth. <laughs> Y-O-U-T-H. Don't you get it? <laughs> and the that's exactly youths. what he said to right. the judge. Don't you get it? <laughs> I'm done with him. I'm done with him. Um, Joe Pesci, I think, really shines in this one. Sure. And that's really the, the way I like it, what, what I liked about it. So Awesome. Do I sound excited, folks? Yeah. Go yeah. I'm, I'm glad you were able to uh, review this with me. I love uh, getting new insight on the film, so thank you for, for all the knowledge, Sue. I appreciate you. Oh, you're welcome. I uh, love being here. Uh, and just out of curiosity, you know, you mentioned Marissa Torme and her knowing all that mechanic stuff. Can we can we learn about mechanic stuff over at the library? You got everything else. Is there we books? We sure do. We have, we have all the mechanical mechanics books. Mm-hmm. We have ways of getting them from other places. We'll get you into databases, all kinds of stuff that you can right. learn about mechanics. But the other thing you can do is you can look. Well, we're not lawyers at the library. <laughs> Not by any means. Sure. You do have access to a lot of legal stuff, and that was one of the things about this film. It's considered one of the top 20 legal films by lawyers. Wow. Of all time. That's great. Because they actually say that things that were going on in that courtroom Mm -hmm. were not a, you know, un... It was just typical of what goes on in the in in a, yeah. in, in a small town, southern town, and it's just this is the way it goes. And Joe Pesci makes mistakes, lawyers make mistakes, and the judge guides them through. And that's why they're judges because they know how the courtroom is supposed to be run. <laughs> yeah, and that's what. And they say they show this in some law schools. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it is. So, and that's the, by the way, all these facts that I spout out, and I hope most of them are right. But <laughs> <laughs> We're going to say that they are. <laughs> but re- regardless, that's how, where I learned this stuff, folks. I learned yeah. it in the library. I look it up. I find it. And that's, and that's what I want to say is that you may not know how to find it, but guess who your best friend is in the library? The that's library right. staff. That's they right. are really good. Now, there's a saying out there right now that says, the, the best resource in your library goes home at night, and that's your library. <laughs> I like and that. I, and I, I, you know, yeah, it's my profession. It's what I do, and but I really believe that because we may not know the answer, but by golly, we really try hard to find it. You really do. That's Sue at the Popper Bluff Public Library. She'll be back in just a few minutes to review the movie The Last of the Mohicans. It's next here on The Screen Team.